Hello, this is your captain speaking, and today I'm doing something a little bit different from my regular my regular content, which is gameplay and me making dumb butt and poop jokes. I'm doing an opinion. Oh my god, opinions on the internet. How dangerous, how, how daring, and kind of sexy of me. Whatever. I just saw this article on Facebook that was, it was a link to see a CNN money page on a flying car that will be ready for takeoff in 2017. There's a video associated with it. It looks cool as crap. However, uh, I was reading the comments on the, on the Facebook page and a lot of them seem like just average people who are just saying, oh man, that's awesome. Flying cars are finally becoming real. I can't wait to can't wait to get one of my own. And I think a lot of people just think that when you get into into a flying car and you have your state driver's license or maybe like your driver's permit cuz you're like a teenager or whatever. I don't know if you are. I mean, you could be. I don't know. Anyway, people think they could just get in the car and since it's a car labeled a car, they could just fly it around in the sky. The only people who would own something like this would be wealthy people who have the money to spend on the novelty of a flying car that you could land at an airport and drive to your house, who have pilot's licenses. Wealthy people with pilot's licenses are the only Venn diagram of people who would, who would be able to drive, to afford to drive this kind of thing. The average person who also happens to be an aviation enthusiast would probably not own this because it would cost a lot of money and you probably, the probably the upkeep on it would be expensive too. I didn't even think of that. Like the maintenance, that would be awful for, for a flying car because all the parts would probably have to be custom made to make it super light compared to, uh, whatever, I'm getting sidetracked on myself. Anyway, it's impractical and I just think it's, it's dumb that, um, Dumb that people are thinking, hey, I'm going to get this this super cool futuristic idea. And I do agree, it's super cool. However, it's impractical. And we're not going to have the infrastructure for anything like this for... I'm going to ballpark 150 years. At least until the education levels can get better. To um, to be able to like teach people how to think in that third dimension that you get while flying. Because like... Okay, so take a person from the 1500s and put him in a Bugatti Veyron. After he's done screaming from the consoles lighting up and not understanding what electricity is, he will be screaming at the immense speed he's getting out of the car in first gear when he's going 10 miles an hour and there are no horses carrying the vehicle. It would take him probably several weeks to a couple of months to understand how to like drive that vehicle with the gear shifting and everything. If he was an intelligent person, because there is definitely a knowledge gap. It was a progression to people learning how to drive. No, it, it wasn't just like, oh, we have driver's ed now. It must have been the same like level of level of educational growth back then. It just doesn't exist. So uh, until we can get to a point where we can teach people how to fly like while they're young, while they're really, really mentally flexible and capable it's just not going to be a thing in our in our culture there are going to be um they would need to put in place like places you could they would need to bring more runways if this were to ever be a large spread thing this is not an industry that will do well just based on the fact that it's impractical at the moment it's going to be very costly and expensive and if there is a company that can make it cheaply, it's still not going to be adopted because, again, no infrastructure. And, yeah. I just really kind of got frustrated by people saying, hey, I want to own a flying car. That'd be super cool. Dude, I want to... I would love to own a flying car because the the main the dream behind this is ah oh, I'm stuck in this highway tra I'm stuck in this traffic I'm in gridlock for like an hour and I'm only driving nine miles in an hour somehow because I live in a city or whatever and I would love to be able to just take off and fly over all these losers and flip them off while I fly over and spit my sunflower seeds at them I don't eat sunflowers seeds. You shouldn't eat sunflowers either. It's probably a bad idea. If, especially if you have pollen allergies, it's going to mess up your face and sinuses. Anyway, yeah. Final thoughts. Um, they're impractical. We don't have the infrastructure for them. And the the growth of learning has not adapted to be able to teach humans how to do that, that three-dimensional travel thing without several months to years of training. 
So, uh, yeah, a little different than my normal videos. This is more of a rant. I hope you guys enjoyed me ranting, and if you want to hear more rants, you could, you could subscribe and leave comments or whatever telling me, hey, I really like your opinions. Could you please tell me more? And I would totally tell you more opinions about things. Um, this is your captain signing off. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. Or listening. I don't know how I'm going to edit this one yet. <laughs> Bye.